morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you all? What in the world is this thing? <laughs> My life is weird. How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Wednesday. It snowed here last night, which is delightful. I'm looking at it outside behind you. I am ready for spring, especially since it's springtime here. Lies, all lies. I don't think it is. Um, so this is a get ready with me live which is exciting too. Um, I just got my exercise in. I got my breakfast in as well. I got a little rat tail up here and uh, we're gonna get ready for the day. I hope you guys are all doing well. If you guys have questions as I go along, let me know. Look at this Mufasa hair. Holy moly, y'all. Look at this. Oh, oh my thing's stuck. <laughs> Great way to get started. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am super tired today but that's good. Um, good morning, good morning. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what it is that I do on my hair and on my face and everything to um, get myself ready for the day. I um, first am going to use a little bit of Mufasa Tamer. The great, no makeup, oh, thank you, Julie, you are so sweet. <laughs> so I'm just taking um, some jojoba oil and I'm gonna take a little bit of patchouli. I wanna smell like a hippie today. Apparently. No, patchouli is really good for um, hair. And so whenever I do a, a heat kind of thing, like I'm going to use my curling iron, anytime I do that, I use jojoba and patchouli. And that combination just works well. So I have um, equal parts jojoba and patchouli. Boop. It's so thick. It like takes forever to come out. And then I'm just going to like lightly pat it on my hair. If I do too much, I look like I haven't washed my hair in like months. And that's not great. But does anybody like the smell of patchouli? I do not like the smell of patchouli. <laughs> I am not a fan, but I use it because it works really good on my hair. My hair particularly likes it, and then I'm just gonna rub the rest into my hands, and I'm gonna smell great all day long. <laughs> I don't know, it's like the 1970s um, oil, although I wasn't alive in the 70s, but apparently it was a thing back then, I don't really know. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I actually go about um, curling my hair. Um, I actually, and, and it's a very attractive process, let me tell you, I use one of these things, throw back to like 1993, right, okay? And I have my curling iron. This is a Conair, I think, one and a quarter inch um, curling iron that I actually use on my hair. And what I do is I just section it off, um, or like right above my ears, and just use this little butterfly clip here to just get it out of the way. Um, and it's gonna look great. Oh, look at this. Ooh, hoo, hoo. The things I do on the internet, guys, it's, my life is weird. I tell you, I tell Mr. Simple Life all the time, I need a shirt that says, hashtag, my life is weird. And I've been saying that for years because it never really goes away. <laughs> my life just keeps getting weirder and weirder and weirder. It smells, <laughs> there we go, I like it. <laughs> Yeah, I actually had a, um, a co-worker at one point in time. She um, was more of the, a hippie, um, but she ended up using uh, patchouli as just like her her perfume, I guess, her of choice. I don't think she's really into essential oils necessarily. Um, but it's funny because anytime I, I smell patchouli, I think of this lady because I would always like smell her wafting through the hallway. <laughs> just cracks me up. Um, so anyway, I literally don't leave my curling iron on my hair very long because I have naturally curly hair. I don't know if you guys can really tell. It looks more like a rat's nest right now. Um, but it holds curl really, really, really well. So can you see that? I shouldn't be wearing a dark shirt there. See, there's that. So it will literally probably take me just like a couple of minutes to um, get my hair curled. And I just like getting that out of the way. So hippie, crunchy mama. There you go. See, and there's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, like I am, I'm totally fine being a hippie, crunchy person. Um, you know, that's just like, that's just me. That's just who I am. So <laughs> Good morning, Lynette. How are you? You had a really good essential rewards order I saw on Instagram and on our Facebook page. Love it. Love it. Love it. Have you dug into anything yet, Lynette? <laughs> I'm calling out my oil family here, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm making audience participation here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there we go. So I've almost done with the bottom part. See how fast that is? Like my hair just like holds the curl and it'll literally hold it for most of the day. Um, I'm gonna do this side over here too. It's interesting too, um, depending on the season that I'm in, um, my hair will either really hold curl well or it will just turn into frizz. <laughs> right now, if I were to turn you guys around, you could see, well, let me see if I, I don't know, can I do that? Yeah, I can. 
you can see it's snowing outside, which is wonderful. So that means the humidity in my house is like super duper low, which means my frizz won't be super crazy, super crazy. Um, but when we go down to Florida, which is, uh, you know, I don't even know what my countdown is. I have a countdown somewhere, but I'm not even sure where that is. It's in the uh, spring. Um, my hair will be just like this big thing and it'll be super duper attractive and wonderful. Um, but anyway, all right, so I'm gonna put another bun on, right on top of my head. <laughs> Oh my word. But you can see the difference between, you know, what it looks like good and then what it looks like rat's nest. So um, the patchouli helps to really smooth down all of the little yuckies and the flyaways and things. Happy spring. Absolutely. We are, yes, I know it. We are covered up here in central Ohio as well. And it's awful. Though I think you guys got more than we did. I saw some of my music teacher friends that live um, in that part of uh, the I was gonna say the country, the state, um, are off school today. None of the schools really around here are closed outside of just um, like some of the private schools um, that will have a hard time with like busing and stuff from coming in from other counties. So, ooh, Lynette, I missed your comment. Clean the whole, I saw you clean the whole bathroom. Yes, life nine, ninja, essential times four, and self time. Well, your day sounds like my day. <laughs> That is uh, pretty much exactly what I do too. That is my uh, my routine. I haven't had my ninja yet today, but um, I will very, 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 very soon. Um, probably in about an hour and a half or so. Good morning, Alan. How are you? This is riveting TV isn't it? or YouTube or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I have a clear skin class coming up on Facebook tomorrow. If you guys are interested in that on my journey to clear skin naturally, um, that will be at 7 p.m. Eastern time. There will be a replay um, live in that Facebook group that's in the comment or no, in the description of this video. So you guys can find that if you are interested in hearing my story of how my skin was absolutely atrocious and now it is not a no, I didn't just grow out of it. <laughs> Although that would have been nice if I didn't actually have to do anything and it just went away on its own. Um, I, I had very, very bad acne for a long, long time, even into my, my age that I am now. Um, and I did a, a number of things to help myself heal it naturally. And so that's what I'm talking about in the class tomorrow, 7 p.m. on Facebook in that group. So you guys can join that, although I can't prove you yet because I got curling iron on my head. But go ahead and uh, request to be added to that group and uh, you guys can watch that video tomorrow, 7 p.m. live, probably right here from my kitchen table <laughs> again. <laughs> oh my goodness, good morning, Melissa, good morning. Um, <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, I was born. It's funny because my nickname was like Shirley Temple when I was younger. <laughs> I had really like tiny little Afro ringlets. It was super funny. Blonde though. I used to have blonde hair. Can you believe this? This is naturally like I don't dye my hair. My hair is naturally this dark, although it will lighten up a lot in the summer. But when I was a kid, it was like fully like bloop, and just curls, 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 curls all over the place. Now I could um, really curl my hair like this, like scrunching it up and stuff. Um, but you know, I don't really, I don't really do that much anymore. So I don't know, but my, my hair does hold curl pretty well at this point in time now too. So, so there we go. All right. Almost done. This is lovely. <laughs> Beauteous. And then I'll get my face on and then I'll let you guys go. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. There we go. So here is the front part of my hair. And literally, I don't section this off necessarily, although I do work around my head just kind of in a kind of clockwise, is that right, pattern? <laughs> it might be mirrored for you. I don't know. Is this mirrored for you? I don't think, it's mirrored for me when I'm looking at you guys. Um, but it's not, I don't know. Uh, lucky for many years, but now I'm dealing with, oh, yeah, rosacea is, is tricky um there although i have seen a lot of people have success with um, rosacea um, with some of the traditional healing diets that are out there in the wild so um, with paleo with aip um, with gaps i've seen um, some people with testimonials on that and specific carbohydrate diet too so maybe check take a, take a look at that um, that might be something that could be helpful. Um, healing from inside out um, can 
can be a, a more permanent solution than you know using topical things and creams and stuff. Um, but yeah, sorry, sorry that you're dealing with that. That's no fun, for sure. I feel like with with my story, and if you watch the class, you'll see a little bit more of it tomorrow. Um, it was really bad for about ten years. I had ten years worth of. Um, acne and it was really like at its height when I um, started when I graduated from high school and I went into college and then throughout my college years it was bad until I went on um, proactive solution I wouldn't see the thing is it works proactive worked for my skin however it was more band-aid wasn't an actual fix and there's a lot of chemicals in there that I wouldn't think about putting on my skin at this point in time, but I was like absolutely desperate, didn't know any other way of getting rid of it at that time. And so I was like, this is all I know, you do with what you know, right? Um, so I did proactive for a really long time, like eight years, I think is how long it was actually unproactive. Um, and it worked for the time I was on it. As soon as I stopped, everything came back again. So it was definitely a band-aid fix. It wasn't like actually fixing anything. Um, so the healing for me had to come from the inside out. And that's what my class will be about. Um, healing naturally inside and out. <laughs> Sounds like a, I made up that title. I didn't. <laughs> I heard it somewhere. Okay. I think this is the last little bit of my hair curling and there we go. Ta-da! As easy as that. So now I'm gonna get my makeup on. Um, first, I'm gonna wipe my face off. I did exercise earlier, um, and so I do like to wipe my face after I exercise. That's part of um, my clear skin kind of routine and stuff. Okay, there we go. Well done. How about that? Um, so here's a funny thing. So how I store my curling iron. This is really hot right now. I have a Dollar Tree oven mitt that I turned inside out because the inside of it is not heat resistant. I like burnt the inside. Of so this is a Dollar Tree oven mitt that I turned inside out and I literally just stick it right on top and then I can put it in my little basket that I have right over here. Great for travel, super cheap, you don't need any of those like special cases. Go to the Dollar Tree, get an oven mitt, turn it inside out, it's done. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe my face um, with a wipe. Um, these particular ones are the Seedlings Baby Wipes. I really like these a lot. This is backwards for me, but I think it's right um, for you. So um, I love these. These are um, obviously formulated for babies, um, but yes, seedlings wipes, absolutely. Let you got it. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. I know I need to do that. <laughs> um, so anyway, formulated for babies, gentle for faces and hands and you know, whatever, wherever you want to use the wipes. <laughs> but Lynette, you just got the seedlings baby wipes, if I remember right, from your picture in our um, Lynette's, for those of you just joining me, in my essential oil family. And she posted a picture of her monthly subscription um, box that she opted into, like I do, called Essential Rewards. Totally optional, um, but it's a great value, good deal subscription box service. And she got baby wipes um, in her box. Um, these are from Young Living, Alan. I get them from um, Young Living. It's a fantastic wipe. It smells so good. It smells like lavender. And there's actually alpha, Mm. One of the alpha acids in here from apple, what do they call it? Apple extract? Apple fruit extract um, that contains alpha, either hydroxy acid, alpha linoleic acid, one of those alpha acids um, that comes from apples. And so it's really good for your face too if you want to use it on your face. So I just use this. I, I use them to take off my makeup sometimes in the evening um, before I shower or if I just want to like freshen myself up after I exercise or whatever. I do that too. So I got that. And then um, if my skin's feeling particularly dry, which it is today, um, good Lynette, awesome. Um, because it snowed, right, my skin's, there's like no humidity in my house. So I'm actually going to use um, two extra things on my face. Normally I don't feel like I have to use a moisturizer, but I'm going to go ahead and use a moisturizer um, over top of my essential oil. So the essential oil I'm actually gonna use on my face is Joy. Joy is a blend. Now, if you're going out in the sun or if you see sun or if you're in Florida or wherever, you wouldn't want to use this on your face outside of having like a um, uh, like a sunscreen on because there's a couple of citrus oils in here. And if you are in the sun with citrus on your skin, it can speed up a sunburn. So you, if you do this, you want to use a sunscreen over top of it if you're in a sunny place or planning on leaving the house or whatever. 
which I am not. It's snowing and I'm staying inside today, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, but in Joy, there's bergamot, there is ylang ylang, geranium, lemon, coriander, tangerine, jasmine, Roman chamomile, palmarosa, and rose. So the reason I'm using this is because of the rose that's in here and also the ylang ylang is good, geranium is also good for skin. And it smells very um, perfumey too. So I'm just gonna take one drop and I'm just gonna rub it literally. I do this with frankincense in the evening, but I'm literally going to just rub it all over my face. Uh, they do smell amazing, Lynette, you're absolutely right. Um, I, you know, to be honest with you, so when I first um, started using essential oils, Joy came in the premium starter kits, along with Valor and Peace and Calming High. Oh. So yeah, don't worry that my skin's gonna be a little red. I literally can go like this and I'll have like a red blotch, like I just have sensitive skin. Um, but anyway, Joy was in my starter kit and I didn't like it at all. I was like, this is so flowery, Ugh. But then over time, I'm like, you know, I, I love it. Now, it is like one of my favorite things in the entire world. So I use Joy all the time, <laughs> but at first, and stress away, I didn't like stress away at first either. What is wrong with me? Oh my gosh. But now I love them and I'm like, you know, breathing them all in. Anyway, that's attractive. So um, Joy, I have Joy on my face now and then I'm just going to use my moisturizer. So this is the moisturizer I use. This is the Art um, Gentle Moisturizer. That's the one that works great for my skin, also from Young Living. Um, I just order it in my little subscription box that I get every month, my wellness box, and that's it. So I actually don't order it every month. I order it every maybe two or three it lasts a really 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 long time so I'm just gonna put this on my face just because I'm feeling super dry this morning um, I'm ready for some humidity to come back to central Ohio <laughs> just like oh my gosh and I feel like my house sucks the humidity out too and I, I have a whole house humidifier and I can smell like the water which is kind of sounds weird um, like coming through the vents so I know that it's working but I don't know my house is like a sponge. It just sucks up everything <laughs> out of me. So my hands are dry, my face is dry. It's just like ugh, awful. Okay, anyway, now I'm gonna get into my makeup and what I do and use and all of that. So um, if you guys follow me on YouTube, you guys know that I use the Savvy Minerals makeup. Um, this makeup, I have, I've completely switched 100%, no, 99.9% .9 of my things over to Savvy Minerals. The last thing I have not switched yet is the mascara because the mascara is out of stock. So I use a junky mascara. I don't really recommend this because I don't think it works good. This is Mineral Fusion um, mascara. It's the waterproof, what do they call this? waterproof mascara <laughs> that's all it's called um so this is the color cliff which looks like it says it's a brown um but i really think it's more of like a blacky brown like a brown black so this is the only um non savvy minerals item that i use outside of that everything like literally has switched over oh try not to dump everywhere <laughs> to um, Savvy Minerals. Again, this is stuff that I order on my Essential Rewards order. Um, I get paid back in points for it. Sometimes I even cash in my points for free makeup. Like it just makes complete sense. I love it. And it works really, really good. And it doesn't make my skin break out, which is even better. If you've um, heard my story, ignore this. But if you have not, I um, used to use another brand of mineral makeup out there that you could buy from Ulta. You could buy it on Amazon. You could buy it from, um, there was one other place that carried it, Sephora maybe, um, a mineral, the very, probably the first popular mineral makeup that was out there, is out there. And I was using it because I wanted to switch to more natural products. This was, I don't know how many years ago this was, a few years ago. And um, the makeup <laughs> made me break out. <laughs> goes right along with that uh, class that I'm having tomorrow. Um, anyway, so I didn't realize that that mineral makeup has bismuth and bismuth ha makes a lot of people's skin react and I thought it was just I wasn't cleaning my brushes well enough or like what was going on. I didn't realize it, you know, it's the bismuth in that makeup. So, so um, after switching, when it, before I switched to Savvy Minerals, I was a little apprehensive because I was like, mm, as I've tried, you know, other ones that didn't have bismuth in them, They'd run off my face by the end of the day. It was just not good. Um, and so I was like, ugh. So I, t I put these to the test when I went down to Disney in October, end of September, early October last year. And I was like, we're just gonna see. Cause up here in Ohio, you know, you can pretty much get away with using, um, 
you know, makeup that doesn't necessarily stay on all day because it's not the most humid place, right? Like, it, no. So I went down to Disney and I'm like, we're just gonna see. So I get back to the hotel room at the end of the day, my first day that I was there, and the makeup was still on my face and I was like, oh my gosh, it looked like I just put it on. I was like, this stuff is amazing. I love this so much. But the trick to it is, um, this stuff right here. This is called the misting spray. Um, it helps the minerals stick to your face better than just brushing the dry minerals on. So um, I, I prefer using the misting spray. And so I literally like boop, boop, <laughs> spray my brush. And then I take, I have my makeup in here. It's like so washed out. You guys can't see that. I'm sorry. Um, and then I just put some of the minerals on my brush. You can kind of see that a little bit. And then I just put it on my face. <laughs> There's nothing fancy. And these are very, very, very forgiving. So if your color um, isn't exactly right, they still blend into your face really good. This particular color right now that I'm using is the Warm 1. But I have used Warm 2 and Cool 2 uh, with a lot of success. Like, I feel like they are so close that, you know, you can get away with any of them, in my opinion. Um... Ooh, I wanted to try out the warm one in the winter because obviously I'm not the most tan person in the world. I mean, you know, so um, I wanted to see if the warm one would be good maybe as a concealer for me or as like a regular foundation color. Um, and it's been, you know, it's been really good. So, but actually what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be getting myself one of the Savvy Minerals Premium Starter Kits. Um, <laughs> brushes like, <laughs> because I need a new foundation brush. Wanna, oh, here it is. <laughs> it's like I keep losing like little bristles from this. Um, so the um, <laughs> starter kit comes with a, let's see, what does it come with? It comes with a foundation, either warm two, cool two, warm two, cool two, dark one or dark four. So I'll probably get the warm two because I, I, I feel like I do better with the warm rather than the cool, but they're all about the same. Um, and then it comes with a blush and it comes with a foundation brush, comes with a misting spray. I'm running super low on this. This is dropping bristles on my face. This is the former brand I used to use. Can you see that? It's kind of blurry, but you can kind of see it. Um, I'm not saying it out loud. And, um, <laughs> and also it comes with a lip gloss, three eyeshadows. And lavender um, and it's just a really good value so um, I'm gonna be getting myself another uh, round of makeup from using the uh, getting the starter kit which is a really good a good value it's about I think it's like 50% off retail something like that and it's about an extra 20 some or 30% off um, when you're even a wholesale member off of the wholesale membership prices so I uh, love, love, love this makeup. It is so, so good. Okay, so there's my foundation is on my face. And now I have um, a little bit of dark circles, kind of, um, under my eyes because I'm a little bit tired today. So I have a, a smaller brush like this, like just a super small one, um, that I'm going to put my misting spray on and then I'm going to put in my foundation and just run it under my eyes too, just like that. Can you guys see this? Sorry, you're like, what are you looking at? I have a mirror right here. <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. Um, Cause I can't really, I don't know. You can't really tell if I'm getting it actually on my face <laughs> when I'm looking in this little tiny little screen. So I wear glasses. I don't know if you guys know this. Most of you guys, some of you guys know this. Um, and so I can't really see you right now. <laughs> I see this blurry image of kind of me and a little like outline of my phone and that's about it. Um, I don't film with glasses on because there's always a glare. That's why I always film without my glasses. How about that? Inquiring minds wanted to know. Um, so anyway, <laughs> my sister's texting me. She doesn't realize that I'm on. I'm doing my makeup right now, sister. <laughs> she'll pop in here in a second. I'm sure she'll, she'll get a notification. Um, but anyway, that's just funny. <laughs> Sisters are funny. Lynette knows my sister. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so my foundation and like face is done. Ta-da. So now I'm just gonna put a little blush on and a little eyeshadow, eyeliner, and uh, call it a day, pretty much. So my blush that I'm gonna use is I Do Believe You're Blushing. This is like a rose kind of color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kind of a rosy, blushy, peachy 
rosy kind of mixture. And it is sparkly. Um, some of the colors are not sparkly. I like the sparkle. If any of you guys knew me in high school, you would know that I was a big sparkle fan in high school and college. I had sparkles on all the time. It bothered people. Why does it bother people? Um, only sister-in-law, so. <laughs> Those count too. I have a sister-in-law too. Um, yeah, she's not texting me though. She's still asleep <laughs> at this point in time. I'm sure. Well, maybe she's up by now. I don't know. They live on the West Coast from where I am right now. Alrighty, so I've got my blush on. Ta-da. There is that. Oh, Lynette, no, I meant you know who my sister is. <laughs> Lynette knows my sister. Anyway, um, and eyeshadow. Eyeshadow I'm going to use is Residual, if I can find it. I have like 800 eyeshadows. Here we go. Here is Residual. I'll show you this. It's like a champagne kind of color. Also sparkly because I like the sparkles. All right, can you see this? Sirens will go off at 9.50. Oh yeah, so we're having this statewide um, tornado drill today <laughs> here in Ohio apparently um, with snow on the ground. So the poor kids, oh no, they, they don't go outside in tornado drills. So they would stay inside, so it's all fine. I was thinking they would have to go outside, but no, that's a fire drill. Um, so yeah, so our tornado sirens are gonna go off at 9.50 here in Ohio. So for those watching in Ohio, if you hear tornado sirens going off and you see snow on the ground, it's like, a snow nado. Um, it's a little weird. Anyway, I don't know. Normally they go off at noon, but they're doing it at 9.50 today instead of noon, even though they normally do it at noon every week. Anyway, I think it's for the kids to practice um, to going into the stairwells and all that kind of stuff. Don't you love living in the Midwest with all the tornado stuff? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. All right, so anyway, I sprayed my brush with the misting spray and I am putting on my residual eyeshadow. And I am, I actually like to do an eyeliner too um, with a little itsy bitsy tiny brush and the multitasker. So the multitasker is a dark brown color that you can use as an eyeshadow, eyeliner, and brow filler. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use it as an eyeliner. So the little brush that I have, I always lose it. Oh, here it is. It's this little itty bitty, tiny, itsy bitsy thing. And I'm going to take my multitasker. I'll show you. This is one I tend to like get all over the place when I open it. Hold on. There it is. It's super dark. You see how dark that is. <laughs> I won't tip it anymore because it's going to go like flying out. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to spray my little tiny brush and dip it into the multitasker. Now, I'm going to try not to get this all over my face. I have to move my, <laughs> my thing here um, because I can't see. <laughs> I did have um, contacts for a really long time in college, but then I kept getting pink eye. <laughs> So then I stopped and then I'm a musician too. So I'm reading music like all the time and it is super annoying to when you're reading to have the contacts like slip down and then like swirl and then it's like super blurry. So that's why I went back to using my uh, my glasses because I just couldn't handle having to read music because I'm reading music and teaching kids every single day um, and having to like deal with that. It's just too much. Um, so anyway, that's why I don't wear contacts now. All right, so I'm just gonna fill in a little bit of my brows, not too much, and throw on some mascara and bingo bango. I got my face and my hair done. And you guys got to see the process. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? <laughs> Hopefully this is at least entertaining a little bit for you guys. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me put on my Junkie mascara, come on, Young Living, come back with the Savvy Minerals. I am not liking this one at all. All right, so there's one side and the other, and I have to do it this way because I can almost not see in my right eye. I have an astigmatism in my right eye, so my depth perception is not very good. Um, yeah, it's bad, bad news bears. Anyway, so there we go, all done, ta-da! <laughs> what is this? Okay. Anyway, if you guys are interested in learning about my clear skin routine and 
eating and all the things, um, check out the link that's in the description of this video. Uh, class is tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern on Facebook. I forgot something. Hang on. I got to get my sparkle on. My veil. This is like a setting powder and it has some sparkles in it. <laughs> super duper sparkly. Um, oh, good. I'm so glad you enjoyed this, Melissa. Yep. I totally, yep. I can completely commiserate with you. I've been wearing glasses since I was five years old. <laughs> I, um, oh, here we go. I remember sitting at my parents' kitchen table and they have, um, behind it was where their, their TV was. And so I was turned around, I was looking at the TV and I just happened to close one eye and I realized I couldn't see <laughs> out of this eye here. And so then I was like, huh. And I was smart enough at least to say something to my parents. I was like, I, I can't see like out of this eye here. Like this is kind of odd. So um, I was a very intelligent <laughs> young child apparently. Um, so anyway, they took me to the eye doctor, bingo bango, astigmatism right here. And uh, this eye is more strong. I can generally, if I close this one, I can mostly see. Yeah, for the most part. Better close up than far away. So what is that, farsighted? Am I farsighted? Anyway, I think that's right. Um, out of this eye though, nah, I got, I got, it's very dark. It's just, I yeah, can't really see much. So most of my vision comes out of this eye. Things you didn't know about any Simple Life here. <laughs> um, so anyway, that is it. Put a fork in me, I am done. Um, I made you do your hair. <laughs> awesome, that is so good. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, I work at home, right? So um, on days that I teach, I teach three or four days a week. And so I feel like I absolutely have to get myself going and like, I don't know, made up, I guess, when my students come to the house. And it, I don't know why it is. I think it's more of just like a confidence thing or they would be like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. And they would be like, uh. um, but on days that I don't see people, I'm either here, right, on the internet somehow, teaching a class, doing live videos for my essential oil family, which they don't care. They've seen me in a Snuggie, so that's fine. Um, but like, I just feel, I don't know, I, I feel better when I actually put my makeup on and do my hair. Even, uh, yes, dress to the shoes, absolutely. Now see, I, right now I don't have shoes on, but that's something that my sister and I were talking about because she follows Fly Lady a lot. She's getting her text, I guess. Um, Fly Lady has a, um, a Twitter now and she's like putting out text reminders and stuff. So I think I'm gonna sign up for that. Um, but anyway, it's like she puts out what's for dinner. Are you dressed to lace up shoes, blah, 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 like all these things. And um, yeah, one thing that I don't do is I don't wear the shoes. I need to have house shoes because I won't wear outdoor shoes in my house, but I could get shoes that are outdoor shoes and not wear them outdoors in my house. I don't know. Um, so I normally wear slippers. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. I don't think it does, but <laughs> better than nothing, I suppose. But, but anyway, so I hope this was helpful and enjoyable for you guys. I enjoyed hanging out with you. So yeah, we, we are big fly lady people in our house. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to sign up for her. Thing. indoor shoes absolutely I feel like I need to do that um I don't know I just haven't gotten that far yet I don't know so anyway I'm gonna make some juice now I'm gonna make some green juice which is great and get back to my day I hope you guys have a fantastic day thanks for joining me have a great rest of your morning and rest of your day hopefully it's not super snowy like it is here for you guys hopefully you see the sunshine i am so ready to see the sunshine um oh crocs i used to have a pair of crocs not the ones that were like the outdoor like gardening crocs um but i had like high heeled crocs and they were actually very comfortable um i was really surprised Sometime, very soon. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Bye.